Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Um, it's been a really fun couple of weeks getting to see all of your comments. Um, I really appreciate you reaching out and um, watching my vlog. So thanks again. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit subscribe because I'm going to try and do Friday shows every Friday. Although I'm a little late this week um, in true me fashion. It's been a crazy week with Halloween here in the States. Um, even though I didn't make my kids costumes, it was still not so. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Um, I have had family visiting and also um, I joined the Sew so Up Cycle 23 challenge and made two entries to that. So that is, um, was hosted by Notes from the Sewing Room and So Little Time. Um, and I'll link their Instagram profiles below. Super cool to follow both of those women. And thanks so much for hosting the challenge. It was really fun. So the whole idea, um, I got the idea from Adele at Sew for Serenity, her vlog, she published, um, a sort of promo blog talking about the challenge and it was super fun. So thanks Adele. Um, I, so I entered with two makes. I was already making the true bias Blair skirt, um, from, um, thrifted fabric that I had gotten. And, um, so when I saw Adele's video, I was like, Oh my God, I can enter that because it's upcycled. Right. Um, I'm big into upcycling. And then I also had this idea. I got a pattern recently from Lil and kids, which I was sharing in my last Friday. So, um, that is super cute. It's a knit pattern and the picture of the, the pattern made on the front of the um, pattern is, um, all different color blocked kind of knits put together for this super cute little dress. Um, and so I entered that into the Sew Up Cycle 23 challenge too. So I wanted to get those all finished like Sunday and Monday so I could um, enter the challenge on Tuesday the 31st. And here's what they turned out like. So I'm actually wearing the True Bias Blair skirt and I wore it for a family photo thing this morning too. So I'll show you really quick. So this is it. I don't know if you can see, but I'm sorry because I can go. Um, so yeah, I think it turned out really good. I love the pockets. I'm walking on my tippy toes trying to show you, but um, I did the inside a little fun like flap um, into the pockets. And yeah, I'm loving how this turned out. I did a size eight skirt um, graded to a little above a size 10 waist because I have like, my body shape is very much like straight down, um, waist and hips. So I did that and I actually started out with, a, with a 12 waist size and realized that the 12 was a bit too big. So had to take it in a little bit, um, through the darts and the side seams, but the pattern was super easy to follow. The one thing that really challenged me was, I don't know if any of you out there have ever had this issue, but um, when I was sewing on the button placket, I um, I got some like, let me see if you can see it, some waves like right here on the placket. And I don't actually know why. Um, I think it's a tension setting on my machine. I don't know if the bottom tension was not matching up with the top tension, but it happens to me all the time when I'm doing hems or when I'm doing things like these button plackets, it's just a straight stitch. I don't know if the bottom um, uh, feed dogs and the top tension are matching. And so it's, it's the way that it's feeding through, it creates this ripple on the seam. And I, I don't know why. So if anybody else has that problem, let me know how to fix it. I'd be forever grateful. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been up to this week, why it's been crazy. Um, and I also spent time last night. Oh, I wanted to show you the, low, the how the Lil and Kids dress turned out. And I'll put a picture of my little girl wearing it. She actually wanted to wear the dress to school this week, which I was shocked by because she doesn't want to wear anything that I ever make for her. But anyways, this is how it turned out. Super cute. I actually had to redo the neckband because I had done it in this sort of lighter fabric, um, but it was a little bit too stretchy. And what ended up happening was the neckband kind of slid off of her shoulders. And so I redid the neckband with a tighter knit, um, hoping that it would like tighten up a little bit. But um, 
still, I think it's going to fall off her shoulders. I think the neck is the, it's just a little bit too wide. And then after I cut out the other neck band, it's even like wider now. So I think what I'm going to do is just on the back of it, use some of the leftover like pocket sweater net material that I used, um, to just do some little ties to tie it so that it doesn't slip off. So, um, and then I also made one of these. So I entered this into the Sew Up Cycle 23 challenge as well. And then I didn't have time to do the other one, but out of those same, all those knit shirts that I showed you last week on my Friday sews so, so that I thrifted. Um, oh yeah, I may have forgotten to mention that. I made that out of all like, they had a sale at the thrift store, for, like $2 a piece for knit shirts. And well, it was all shirts, but anyway, I picked up like six or seven different pinks, pink knit shirts, like for women. And I just basically like, made that one dress and then I also put this one together for my almost two-year-old so this is the bodice and the sleeves the fun thing is I actually used the hem um, that was already in existence for the shirts on the sleeves so this is actually made out of the sleeve of a woman's size shirt and I just cut it to fit the pattern um, and that way I don't have to hem the sleeves I also did that for the skirt so this is the bottom hem of the shirt and I don't have to hem it. Yes. Um, so anyway, this is going to be the skirt part of it. I'm going to gather that up and, and attach it to the bodice and then the little pat, the pockets, which are the best thing about the pattern actually just attach, like you can't really see it, but they're oversized pockets, just like the other ones. And they are meant to like stick out on the side. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really cute. And I think, oh yeah, I wanted to share with you that I also cleaned up my sewing room. Does anyone else's sewing room look like a tornado came through? Like it was, it could be like, it was wild. There was stuff everywhere. I had like fabric all over on top of here. I had patterns. I'd had like 10 PDF patterns that I've been printing, printing out as I see them um, all over here. I had like half projects that I've, stuck in a drawer over here. I cleaned out my entire fabric stash because I had a lot of quilting cottons before I knew about apparel fabrics um, when I very first started. So I cleaned that out and yeah, it's feeling really good in here. I'm actually thinking about doing, let me know if anybody has a craft table that's like this, but I was actually thinking about doing a drop down folding table like right here on this wall right here. Um, that just kind of like sits up like this and then folds down and has a leg right here. Um, so then I don't have to cut all my fabric on the floor cause that's tough. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. I can do it. Um, but a table would be really nice. So if anybody has ones that you've seen that fold down, that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to this week. Next week, I'm going to actually start on the peony dress from Fabric Godmother. She's doing a challenge, the peony dress challenge. Um, and it is a fabric. So I wanna make the peony dress out of this fabric that I got from Lamazi in a shipment um, a few weeks ago that I, I think I talked about in my first Friday sews and it's this beautiful viscose that has this like super um, shiny uh, print to it like it's just the gold parts that are shiny isn't that so fun um, so I'm going to make the peony dress for Thanksgiving and maybe for Christmas um, out of this print and I'm very excited about that so I'm going to get started cutting that out hopefully make a dent in it. We'll see. Um, and then I also have, I really want to make something out of this viscose that I got from Lamazi as well. So if anybody has any pattern ideas, I think I have about a meter and a half of this. And um, I think it would make a really beautiful top with sort of like puffy sleeves and draped down into um, maybe a bishop sleeve, like kind of a cuff or something. I don't know. But if anybody has any patterns you want to share with me, um, let me know. Because this is just super, super, it's very soft, gorgeous fabric that I really want to make something um, for Thanksgiving out of. But 
anyway, thanks again for watching. And I, um, I will put, um, drop in now some footage of me actually making the Blair skirt in case you're interested. All right. Bye everybody.